Thank you and welcome Christian, Jew, Muslim, all people of goodwill. We stand in gratitude for so many people, from Ambassador Shaguri, who had the vision, from Mr. Sahnawi and Mr. Frem, benefactors and donors, and so many other people who have given graciously to this effort. Cardinal Whirl, who was led by support and inspiration. Ambassador Saperstein, Grand Knight Carl Anderson, Tafik, Andrew, Joseph, Kirsten, and all of their co-workers, a heartfelt thank you. A heartfelt thank you. It's my joy to do two things, actually three. First, to introduce his beatitude, Patriarch Yonan, which I'll do in a minute. Second is to pray. And third, just to offer a few reflections. Before I do that, I would like us, because you know what day today is, let us stand and offer a silent prayer for the victims of 9-11, for the perpetuate, those who perpetuated such crimes that God would erase from our world hatred, and let us pray. O oh, Heavenly Father, how can we thank you for the gift of life and the gift of love? We thank you for people of goodwill. We thank you for our Christian faith. We thank you for our brothers and sisters who suffer injustice. And we ask you to change the hearts of those who hate. Grant eternal rest, O Lord, to all those who have lost their life in 9-11 and in all the terrorist acts throughout the world. And grant us the peace to be true St. Francis's of this world, men and women of peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. I just have a few remarks and then I want to introduce our main speaker today. I have seen in the last few years Republicans and Democrats, those who have a tendency in the Middle East to look towards Iran and those who have the tendency to look to Saudi Arabia. I have seen people on opposite ends of spectrums come together. I have seen the Christian community from the early Assyrian community to the last evangelical community, Catholic, Orthodox, and Protestant. I have seen people of goodwill, Christian, Muslim, and Jew, come together. And today there are three words that summarize what we have tried to do in the last few years. Solidarity, communion, and I say this sincerely, defiance. Defiance, but with love. We are not the same as ISIS, because if we hate, we are the same. But be, to be defiant, as was Martin Luther King, as was Mahatma Gandhi, as was Pope John Paul II, we can change this world. The next speaker will speak to you from his heart. If you see sorrow in his eyes, it's because he's a shepherd and a good shepherd, ready to lay down his life for his flock. I have never seen him so sad, so hurt, but it's not a hurt for himself, it's a hurt for his people. He was born in Hasake, Syria, not far between Iraq, Turkey, and in Syria. And that was the town that was flooded a hundred years ago with those fleeing the Armenian, the Syriac, the Assyrian genocide in which the world was afraid to call it what it was. He is a shepherd. 
He began as a pastor in Beirut for seven years in the early 80s. He was then the first pastor of the Syriac Catholic Church in Newark, New Jersey, and established that, established Los Angeles, and established San Diego. In 1995, he became the bishop of a newly created eparchy called Our Lady of Deliverance, who's now shepherd is Bishop Habash, who is with us this evening. In 2009, he was elected by his brother bishops to be patriarch of the Syriac Catholic Church. And in 2010, he was chosen, along with Cardinal Sandri, to be the president of the Synod of Bishops for the Middle East. He's a man on a mission from God to speak for the defenseless and to defend the oppressed. We are grateful to have a good shepherd in our midst. And so I ask you in a moment, as he's properly introduced, if you'll join me again for a moment of silence to pray for all of those in the Middle East who work for peace and to pray for the Good Shepherd. Amen. And now I give you Patriarch Yonan, Patriarch of the Syriac Catholic Church throughout the world. Thank you. <laughs> 